Hi guys, it's Chris here from Some Bloke Who Travels A Lot and today I will mostly be getting saluted at the Hua Hin Ibis in Thailand. <laughs> now, the first thing that welcomes you, apart from this great chat with the salute, is a swimming pool. So we've got an Ibis hotel and the average prices I've paid here are between £18 and £30 a night. As you can tell, I've stayed here a few times. Actually, I, my business partner is based in Hua Hin in Thailand and I often go out and visit and we work on projects together and I quite like staying at the Ibis. If you check out the channel you will also see I quite like staying at the five star hotels in Hua Hin. I've stayed at the Moving Pick, Sofitel and the Hilton so do check those out but although the Ibis is only three star I seem to get a five star welcome with an elephant towel on my bed. I stay here for value for money but I think it's quite a special hotel. It's certainly my favourite Ibis hotel. I've got everything I need, a well telephone signpost, a well signpost telephone even, uh, tea and coffee. You see in a second there's a fridge. So I nip down to the 7-Eleven, which is just down the road, and I get my fresh milk and some proper tea bags. I'm not a fan of Lipton. Now, what am I doing with bunk beds? Well. Because I'm a loyalty card holder, they upgrade me to their better room, which is the family room. It's an Ibis, they don't have suites. And you'll see why this family room is really important to me as we just turn around this corner. There's a little games area for the kids with a PlayStation and a TV, keeping quiet perhaps, just before they climb into those bunk beds, which I turn into my office. I use the TV screen as a second monitor, put a pillow on the child's seat, and I've got an office. I've also got a safe, which is unusual for an Ibis hotel. Uh, but I do tend to see them in the Far East more than in Europe. I've got a fridge, which I ended up staying here for a week, as you're going to see in a minute. Because what's unusual about this video is I'm obviously showing you around the room on arrival, as per my normal videos. And uh, if you don't know about my normal videos, please do check out the channel. I've reviewed 106 hotels so far. So plenty of inspiration there and plenty of, uh, plenty of reviews if, uh, if you're looking to check something in particular out. So another beautiful feature of my £18 a night hotel, uh, which is the cheapest, uh, but uh, you know, I've never paid more than £30. That was on New Year's Eve one year. I've got my balcony, which uh, has a lovely view of the pool. Guess, guess which month I was staying at. This was uh, February 2023. The other good thing, going back to me setting up this as an office so I can actually get some work done here, is the internet's great. It's not outrageous, but it's 30 meg, so very handy. Classic Ibis bathroom, feels a bit bigger than normal but it's the fairly standard curve shaped bathroom and uh, yeah immaculate perfect there we go and on this welcome I didn't just have an elephant I had a knock on the door and a few minutes later a platter of fruit arrived which was uh, which was most welcome so all in all it's a cracking room it's also a cracking pool. That was the, the view at night, beautifully lit up. We've got an open plan area. I've never found it to be that busy uh, with the bar and I, I did get a welcome drink. So I had a couple of drinks in the bar, but not much. There's always somebody cleaning. It's a very, very pleasant team here. You know, I, I don't just go back for the budget. I go back because it's a nice place to stay and it's, it's very convenient because as you're going to see in a minute it's very very close to Hua Hin Beach this was my dinner on the first ah, night so I ordered a pizza cake and some chips and I think that was about eight pounds so if we take a walk out the hotel and we go down this pathway it's about 150 yards maybe a bit less and we find me drawing in the sand on the beach but we find ourselves on Hua Hin Beach, which is fantastic. So you really are. It's one of the cheapest hotels in Thailand. It's an international brand, and you can walk down to this beach. 
and you've got everything at the beach. You can do your jet skis, you can do your kite surfing, there's restaurants and bars a little bit further up. Or as I said, there's a 7-Eleven near the hotel. You can just pick up some bits and bobs and take a picnic. But be warned. High tide is high tide. And when it's high tide, there is no beach. This is the same entrance way that we just walked down. So check out the times of the tides. Just ask at reception and they will let you know. Now, also just the stones throw away. We've got a little bit of culture. There is a temple nearby. So, the next thing I'm going to show you, which I haven't done in, a pre in any previous video, is the turnaround of the room. So now, we're going to go and have a look at the room after three days. Now, I'm actually staying here at the Ibis. It's turned out now for seven days. That's a week, isn't it? Now, I won't have my room turned every day. Um, I change my sheets once a week at home, so it's a bit unenvironmentally friendly to have your room sorted out every day. But this is my third morning here. So I took off the do not disturb sign. So my bed has been made for me. Nice clean sheets, lovely. Everything's just that little bit tidy. Bag's not disturbed. Balcony nice and clean. I haven't changed my office setup. Oh no, they've plumped the pillow up. There's a pillow for my seat. This is where I'm working from this week. So I'm using their TV from the PlayStation, uh, plugging my laptop in to give me a second screen. Fantastic stuff. They have brought me four bottles of water, a clean cups, and a couple of tea bags. And my fridge has got my fresh milk in and a few sodas and a few juices that I bought. Okay, so that was the uh, turnaround. Well, let's have a look in the bathroom. This is my toothbrush has gone in a pot. No, I just just had to clean the bathroom and fresh towels. So, quite often you stay in hotels and sort of the housekeeping, get all excited to tidy up your toothbrush and razor. But that obviously wasn't the case here. And of course, we can't complete a video without uh, a little wander around the breakfast buffet. And it's a complete breakfast buffet. Again, it's that little bit better than an ordinary budget Ibis hotel. We've got our options of hot Thai food. We've got our options of funny sausages and eggs for breakfast. And we've got our continental offerings of cheeses, cold meats, pastries, croissants, pan au chocolat, etc., etc. The classic hotel toaster that sort of works but never works doesn't matter whether you're in a three star or five star hotel tea and coffee it's all good it's a good breakfast and i think it's 150 baht if you haven't added it onto your room now i sort of pretty much i was here seven days i had breakfast about three or four days and most days i took my breakfast out by the pool as you can see in a picture that i'll put up in a second that uh, they lay out half a dozen tables for breakfast in the dining room well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. It is a hotel I recommend. If you're spending some time in Hua Hin, you've got a pool, you've got a beach, and you're roughly, let's say, £25 a night. So, uh, if you want that rate, that very good rate, use the link in the description, and that'll take you direct to the Ibis Hua Hin website. And, of course, if you need any special requirements, you can send them a message by booking that way. So... Once again, thank you very much for watching. All the good stuff, like, subscribe, share. 106 hotel reviews, as I said, so far. And uh, should be plenty of inspiration for everybody. Thanks again for watching. Happy travels.